All right, I'm going to preview an app that I've built in a weekend, and I'm yeah, I'll tell you I'll tell you exactly what I built. But we're going to be using Lovable, or we did use Lovable. I should have built this in public. I should have recorded it, but I was like, I'll just show you the finished product. The app is going to be helpful because the simple fact is Lovable just partnered with Firecrawl. Now, if you know what Firecrawl is. It's just going to be a, a web scraper that you can go ahead and make sure that you're able to collect data to aggregate it and then just siphon it somewhere. So the reason that this is important is because before having to kind of figure out how to build the back end of a web scraper and make sure that it wasn't breaking continuously, it was kind of a pain. So now that Lovable actually is with a partner, you can go ahead and I believe it's going to be free or it's going to be included if you have a lovable account and you can use fire crawl included i think for about a month it's probably going to be in the description below as to how long can you use it for i'll do a little bit more research but as soon as i found out that news i was like hey i want to go to build something that i have passion in. so i'm very passionate in not necessarily lead generations but quality conversations what i mean by that is that i went ahead and built something that's called truth brief and now what this is is that if you're familiar with apollo and you're familiar with a LinkedIn Sales Navigator or any of those type of platforms where you're able to go ahead and search uh, for your ideal customer, a lot of people get stuck on the filters as to how to go ahead and filter everything that they need. So what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to make it as simple as possible for you to understand your ideal customer, go to those type of websites, be able to go ahead and put in the right filters so that way you're getting the right information. Thus, truth brief. And now that I have Firecrawl, I'm able to go ahead and seamlessly connect this information uh, so that way you can kind of see exactly data that you would need to go ahead and see. So here is going to be a free trial. I, I know I said that, but let me go ahead and sign in. Let's go ahead and see that. All right. So once you're able to go ahead and get into the platform, you're able to go ahead and see exactly the dashboard. It's very, very simple. However, many markets you've created, uh, the completed briefs, and so on and so forth. So overall is that what you want to do, it's just don't necessarily worry about all these gadgetries. What we want to do is just make sure that we understand how to create a new market. So once we create the new market, if it's your first time, it's going to go ahead and give you a tour. But the big thing is that you have the ability to use a template if you are just first starting out a newbie. So you'd be able to go ahead and use this template and be able to go ahead and say, hey, you know what? I just want to find like local businesses. This is going to populate down here, local businesses, services. And then if you wanted to go ahead and add any context, this does help the AI on uh, the back end to make sure that it's giving you the right relevant information to help you be great, right? So as you're coming down, this is what I would say is a recommendation, but it's not required. If you are somebody who understands and has been using Apollo, this is like an add-on. It's recommended when you get better, so that way it's giving you, the AI is giving you more concise or better uh, knowledge, but it's not needed. So if you were coming down here and you said, hey, I found this is what I'm looking for, but I wanted to be a little bit more granular, this is where you'd be able to go ahead and do that, right? So we're not going to use that for now. And then what it usually does is if you're using a template like I just did, it's going to go ahead and say, hey, these are the best avenues that you should be able to go ahead and find what you're looking for. So right now we have seven, probably going to go ahead and explore a little bit more, but uh, you have Reddit, you have Glassdoor, you have uh, G2 reviews, right? And then nah, we're just going to go ahead and use that for now. And then what you're going to be able to go ahead and get out of this is, is this right here. We're going to go ahead and just click generate. In most cases, it does take about two minutes to go ahead and generate. And while it's doing that, it's compiling the data, it's getting you the information, and it's going to go ahead and give you the score of 100. If this is a good opportunity for you to go ahead and reach out to these ICPs, ideal customer profiles, or your ideal customer. If it gives you a score, it doesn't really matter the score, right? Unless the score is like below 50%. You still want to go ahead and understand how one, you're able to go ahead and explore better conversations or even know who to talk to. And this is what this tool is going to do for us. Like it's going to take a little bit of time, but if we want to go ahead and see a live one that's already done, as you can see right here, it's processing. Uh, but as we can go ahead and uh, do a little bit of uh, testing, I went ahead and did tech startups. So this is the information that it's going to go ahead and come out with. 
it's going to go ahead and tell you, hey, out of 100, uh, this is a good, good lead or good ICP that you should be able to go after. It's going to give you a little bit of data as to why they came up with that particular score. Don't necessarily worry about this unless you're doing like refreshes, but you don't have to worry about that. This is going to, going to be the same thing. As soon as I click on this, same as targeting. Who should I be reaching out to? So if you have Apollo pulled up, you'll be able to say, okay, I need to reach out to a, a CTO. I need to reach out to a VP of engineering. I need to reach out to a technical co-founder, right? And then what size of the business? One to 50, right? It's going to go ahead and show you right here. It's going to say two sizes. And then the most important thing is that why am I reaching out to these people? Is that I'm reaching out to these people because one is a technical decision maker. Uh, well, they're all technical decision maker and they influence the budget. So if you are selling any type of tools, let's say that you're selling Google Workspace or you're selling uh, Slack or something like that. These are the people that you want to have conversations with. Um, what not to use this for. And then again, high hierarchy as to uh, the type of persona. So that way the motivations, you, you kind of understand their mindset in this job title. So you understand the mindset. So you can go ahead and be prepared to have better conversations. The insights uh, as to um, what their pain points might be, uh, the top risks that they might have. So you might be able to go ahead and understand exactly the conversations that you might be scripting to have these conversations. And then um, overall is that the hook and offer, right? As, as we get better over time and we understand, hey, how do we go ahead and connect with this person? These are just ideas as to what you could do or use to go ahead and reach out to these people as to a, maybe a subject line or maybe a call opener. So again, this is just information to help you start having those conversations with those people so you can offer your service or product. And then from there, you're going to go and see some battle cards. Battle cards are going to be something that's great if you are, well, you are going to be selling uh, these customers or these leads. So you want to be able to go ahead and understand what the objections might be. And then the, right here is the objections. And then below is going to be like, I would say emails. So you're able to go and kind of see, hey, what type of email should I go ahead and, and send? Again, these are just ideas, samples that you can go ahead and use, obviously copy and paste and then kind of make it your own, but kind of an idea as you're reading, you don't want to waste their time. But if you have done your research on the ICP, you, you should be able to go ahead and, and understand who you're looking for. And then as a companion tool, because that's what this is at first, as we hope to grow it, as a companion tool, you'll be able to go ahead and take that to LinkedIn or Apollo and be able to kind of do a little due diligence research on that particular lead. But that is it. That's as simple as it is. As you're seeing right here, it's just something that's a little bit more diverse. Oh, it's finished. Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of a deeper dive here. So again, local businesses, it didn't tell me who to target. So it just says CEOs. So we got to kind of fix this because uh, the CEO, marketing, if applicable, dispatcher, admin, right? So it's still giving you information. It's just not telling you the size of the company which could be a good thing. But what are the pain clusters, uh, market saturation? But again, this is a generic solution. So the more detailed you are when you are building your market, the better information it's going to go ahead and give you. But if it's talking about local businesses, it's just going to give you this a generic view. And then what you want to go ahead and do is, like I said, the more detailed you are, like we saw in the previous example, the better this tool is going to work. And then at the end of the day is like, I want you guys to be able to go ahead and use this tool to give me feedback. Just let me know what you think about it. So that way I can make it better overall. But I think I'm done rambling. I think I'm done. And hopefully you guys can go ahead and just take a look at Lovable and see exactly their partnership with Firecrawl. So if you're looking to build something, you can go ahead and do so. But that thing's in the description. You guys have a good one. Peace. I don't, I don't know how to end this. I thought it was going to go 10 minutes.